Isaiah chapter 64, you found your place. You stand with us for reading the Word of God, not Isaiah chapter number 63, verse number 15. The Bible said, Look down from heaven, and behold from the habitation of thy holiness and of thy glory. Where is thy zeal and thy strength, the sounding of thy bowels and of thy mercies toward me? Are they restrained? Doubtless thou art our father, though Abraham be ignorant of us. And Israel acknowledgest not, thou, O Lord, art our father, our redeemer. Thy name is from everlasting. O Lord, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways, and harden our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servant's sake the tribes of thine inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuaries. Why? Uh, we are thine. Thou never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. Uh, then in verse 60, uh, chapter 64 and verse 1, he said, Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, uh, and that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. I want to preach on the thought of revival for just a little while tonight. The thought... Uh, of revival. Let's pray. Father, we thank you tonight, God, for your love, your mercy, and God, for your grace. So we thank you, God, why we yet sinner, a man of God loved us enough, came by our way and preached unto our heart with us, saith the Lord, that we might hear and believe and be saved. Lord, we thank you for this place we've come to tonight. God, we fetch your presence already. God, we come on these grounds through the singing. Lord, we thank you. We feel you, God. Lord, that time we're not saved by feeling, but Lord, I'm thankful that we can feel that you're doing something something in our heart and in our lives. I, I pray, God, for a little while you'd touch his lips of clay. I, give us word, wisdom, God, from heaven. We might preach I, in power, demonstrate the Holy Ghost. I, when we leave this place, we'd not say it's been good to hear from a man, I, but we'd say we've heard from heaven I, that God has challenged and helped our hearts I, and helped our lives. Lord, we'll thank you what you do for a little while. It's in Jesus' name we pray. I, amen. And amen. You can be seated. I, what is revival? I, a revival Bible, the definition that God gave me uh, is the work of God in the heart of His children uh, to restore, refresh, uh, and rejuvenate what He started in them when they got saved. Amen. Uh, uh, that is that they might reveal uh, uh, to this dark world the joy uh, of His salvation. Amen. Uh, in this Christian walk that you and I are in, uh, uh, we face things every day that can rob us uh, of our joy. Amen. Uh, that rob us of our love for one another, uh, of our peace, of our temperance, uh, even of our faithfulness uh, unto God. Amen. Uh, and revival is to bring those things uh, uh, that have died in our life uh, back to life. Amen. Uh, it is that uh, our faithfulness and our joy and our peace uh, and our love for the brethren uh, might once again be restored uh, in our lives. Amen. Uh, uh, that's what revival uh, is all about. Amen. Uh, a real revival. Uh, it is when God shows up. Amen. Uh, a real revival. Uh, it is something out of the ordinary. Uh, uh, it is God doing something extraordinary. Amen. Uh, in the heart uh, of His people. Uh, and if we were all honest tonight, uh, uh, we need revival in these days. Amen. Uh, our homes, they need revival. Uh, our churches need revival. Uh, uh, friend, this nation and this world, uh, it needs revival. Amen. Uh, it needs God to once again uh, uh, sweep a course uh, of this country uh, and to do again for His people uh, what He has done uh, in the past. Amen. Uh, a revival. It is nothing more tonight uh, uh, than the uh, reawakening uh, of our interest and our relationship and our walk uh, with the Lord. Amen. Amen. It is a resurgence uh, of our devotion unto God. Amen. Uh, it is bringing back our activity uh, and our involvement personally uh, with our Savior. Amen. Uh, in Revelation chapter 2 uh, and verses 1 through 5 there, uh, uh, John was writing to those at Ephesus. Uh, and as he began to write to those at Ephesus, uh, he said that they were working for Christ, uh, but they were not walking with Christ. Amen. Uh, look at what he said uh, in Revelation 
Revelation chapter 2 uh, and verses 1 through 5. Uh, he said unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, right, uh, these things saith he uh, that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, uh, who walketh in the midst uh, of the seven candlesticks. Uh, he said, I know thy works uh, and thy labor uh, and thy patience uh, and how thou cannot bear them, uh, uh, which are evil. Uh, he said, they're doing good works. Amen. Uh, he said, and thou, thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, uh, and they are not, uh, and hast found them liars, uh, and hast borne, and hast patience, uh, and for my name's sake hath labored, uh, and hath not fainted. Uh, he said they were doing good, amen, uh, on the outside, uh, uh, from the world standard. Uh, uh, they were a good church, amen. Uh, uh, they were working. Uh, they were supporting missionaries. Uh, they were involved in mission work uh, around their community. Uh, uh, but he said in verse 4, Nevertheless, uh, I have somewhat against thee, uh, because thou hast left uh, thy first love. Amen. Uh, he said in verse 5, Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, uh, and repent and do the first works, uh, or else will I come unto thee quickly, uh, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, uh, except uh, that thou repent. Uh, they were working and laboring for the Lord. Uh, they were going to church. Uh, they were going to revival meeting. Uh, they were ministering to the needy. Uh, uh, they were trying to console the hurting. Uh, they were a church with a heart uh, for ministry. Amen. Uh, uh, but they were working, uh, but they had forsaken their walk uh, with the Lord. Uh, there's a big difference. Amen. Uh, they had a form of godliness, uh, but they denied the power thereof. Uh, uh, from the outside, as we said, uh, they were a model church. Uh, they were doing great great things, uh, but they were not doing the greatest thing, uh, and that is walking uh, with their Savior. Amen. Uh, uh, they were in love with their labor, uh, rather in love uh, with their Lord. Amen. Uh, in Luke's Gospel, in chapter number 10 uh, and verse 38, uh, uh, there's a great contrast uh, that is given to us in two sisters uh, named Mary uh, and named Martha. Amen. Uh, the Bible said that uh, uh, Mary, she was coming about out, uh, uh, or Martha was coming about with much labor, amen, uh, uh, with much work. Uh, and she came to Jesus and said, Lord, uh, uh, would you bid Mary uh, that she'd help me, uh, that she would come and work and labor uh, as I'm doing. Uh, and Jesus said, Martha, uh, uh, that uh, uh, Mary had chosen the good part, amen. Uh, uh, friend, he did not rebuke Martha uh, for working. Uh, uh, it is a very necessary thing to work uh, uh, for the Lord. Amen. I, I'm glad we're not saved by works. I, I, but friend, the Bible said that we'll know I, that you're a Christian by the labors I, and the fruits that you bear. Amen. I, I, it is a necessary thing to work I, I, for the Lord. I, I, but in working, we must be careful I, that we never stop walking I, and worshiping I, and sitting at the feet of Christ I, and getting help I, for our own lives. Amen. I, he did not rebuke Martha for working. Uh, he said, Mary had chosen the good part. Uh, she had chosen that which was necessary. Amen. Uh, uh, Martha, she was serving, uh, no doubt, with her whole heart uh, and in humility uh, as Jesus served others. Uh, in Luke chapter 4 and verse 4, the Bible said, though, that man shall not live uh, by bread alone, uh, but by every uh, word of God. Amen. Uh, uh, serving is not bad, uh, uh, but if all you're doing is working, uh, and not walking with the Lord, you're probably in need of revival tonight. Amen. Uh, uh, for you cannot live spiritually uh, without daily walking uh, with the Lord. Amen. Uh, if we do not feed the inner man, uh, uh, we'll fade away uh, and walk uh, away from the Lord rather than walking uh, with the Lord. Amen. The uh, Bible said in Psalm 102 that we're to serve the Lord with gladness. Amen. We're to come before His presence uh, with singing. Uh, serving a much needed thing. Uh, and it is a thing that the Lord commands us to do and ask us to do. Uh, uh, friend, you've got to have people to serve. Amen. Uh, 
Amen. You've got to have people in the church that'll clean. I, I people to play the music I, and run the sound. I, you've got to have people at the house of God I, I, to keep it up. I, I people to teach and to preach. I, I people to lead by example. I, I servant's a necessary thing. Amen. I, I, but in serving our Lord, I, we can sever our walk with the Lord. Amen. That is by losing our focus of what Christ did for us. Amen. Uh, and in turn, we're in the need of, of revival. Uh, but friend, there's no power on earth that can bring revival. Amen. Uh, there's no man that can bring revival. Uh, there's no singing group that can bring revival. Uh, no preacher that can bring revival. Uh, uh, friend, we can't pray enough words uh, uh, to bring revival. Uh, uh, there's no military power uh, that can bring revival. No economic upturn. Uh, no election. I, I can bring revival. I, only God can bring revival I, and send revival I, unto his people. Amen. I, I, for it is the sovereign work of Almighty God I, in the heart of sinful man. Amen. I, it is God I, I, preparing our hearts I, to walk holier I, and more uh, uh, dedicated and separated uh, uh, to him. Amen. Isaiah chapter 64 of our text. I, God's people had been carried away into captivity. Amen. Uh, his work, uh, it was in disrepair. Uh, and His people, they were dispirited. Uh, they had no enthusiasm. Uh, had no desire, no zeal uh, of serving the Lord. Uh, much like believers in our day. Amen. Uh, uh, today, the church, uh, friends, she's been carried away captive uh, by the world and the flesh uh, and the devil. Uh, uh, Christians are discouraged in this day. Uh, many have no hope for revival. Uh, many are not even looking uh, for the possibility uh, that revival can come. Uh, but friend, revival can come. Amen. Uh, it is inevitable uh, if God's people will get right uh, with God. Amen. Yeah. Jesus promised if my people uh, which are called by my name shall humble themselves uh, and pray and seek my face. Uh, he said then will I hear from heaven uh, and will turn. Uh, I forgive their sins and will heal uh, their lands. Amen. It's inevitable if God's people uh, will get their hearts right with Him. Amen. So why is there no revival in our day? Uh, listen carefully what I say. Uh, it's not because of liberalism. Amen. Uh, liberalism is not the reason there's no revival. Amen. Uh, uh, it is also not because of disunity among the brethren. Uh, we should have unity. Amen. The uh, Bible said forsake not to assemble one of yourselves together, uh, but exhort one another. Uh, there should be unity among the brethren. Amen. Huh? There should be no discord huh? that's sown among us. Huh? But disunity is not the reason for no revival. Amen. Uh, also, uh, uh, because the church is worldly huh? and she's compromised, huh? that is also not a reason that revival huh, is not come. Huh? Friend, these, uh, uh, whether you get them right or not, these reasons, uh, uh, they are not the reason for no revival. Huh? They are simply the result of uh, of no revival. Amen. Uh, the reason that uh, you can look around and know that we need revival uh, is because of where the church is. Amen. Uh, of where she's walking uh, and where her state is spiritually. Amen. Uh, a revival has not come uh, because of things. Uh, a revival has not come because of one thing. Uh, and that is we are caught up in religion uh, and tradition uh, and selfishness rather than sold out uh, to God. Amen. Amen. We as the church, we want our way rather than God's way. Do we not? Amen. We want God to come on our time huh? and on our schedule. Huh? We say we want revival. Huh? And we'll come when revival services are held. Huh? We'll be early. Amen. Huh? And we'll stay late. Huh? We'll pick up the trash. Huh? We'll cook the food. Huh? Uh, we'll do whatever's needed of us. Huh? Uh, but when it comes to a point and place in our heart huh? and in our life, huh? when God says you need to change this, huh? or you need to do that. I, we do not have room I, and we do not have time to let God work in our heart I, and in our life. Amen. I, I, we come time in and time out I, I, but our lives never change. I, we go right back to the same sin I, and the same root I, and the same routine. I, our hearts never change. I, our desires never change I, and we never get a new drive I, and a new zeal to go for God. 
God and to live for him. Amen. Though our lips say they're one thing, our heart clearly and truly says another. Amen. Though our lips say we want to head on collision with God, our hearts and our feet take us in the exact opposite direction than God is going. Amen. Friend, revival's meeting with Almighty God. Amen. It is meeting on his term and his conditions. Revival will not come in a week. Revival will not come in a month. Revival may not even come in a year. But revival will come when God's people get their heart and lives right with God. Amen. I have a friend and they prayed for 10 years that God would send revival. And friend, it took 10 years for God ever showed up anywhere. Before it ever seemed like God was ever going to send true revival. It took 10 years of meeting every Friday and Saturday night praying, asking God to do something in their church. Amen. If they'd have stopped nine years and 364 days short, they may have never seen revival. Amen. But because they kept praying, they had revival in their church that went on for weeks and weeks and weeks. Hey friend, I'm telling you tonight that if we really got serious with God and began to pray and ask God to do something and begin to ask God to change our heart and change our lives. God would send revival in this day. Amen. A friend, it's on his time. It's on his regards. On his conditions. I would say that most people, if not everybody here, is seeking the Lord to do something. Amen. In their heart and in their life, no doubt. You've got things in the church that you're praying about. You've got things in your family that you're looking Looking for God to do, huh? no doubt. Huh? Uh, you ought to be praying for this nation, Amen. Huh? That God will help our leaders huh? and put in office who did have huh? uh, to be elected. Huh? Uh, but friend, rather huh? than seeking the face of God, huh? we're looking for the hand of God, Amen. Huh? Uh, we want God's hand huh? to reach down in the middle of our problems huh? and in the midst of our needs huh? and to show up and show out huh? and to do something. Huh? That's all right. Amen. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I'm thankful we can take our needs to the Lord. Amen. Uh, he said if you'll cast your burdens on him, uh, that he'd bear them. Amen. Uh, hey, friend, uh, I'm thankful we can pray uh, about these bodies, uh, that we can pray that God will bring healing, uh, that we can pray uh, uh, that God will change our uh, situation. Uh, but we're looking for the hand of God to show up. Uh, and, if, and only then, uh, when the hand of God shows up, will we worship uh, and thank the Lord for what he's done. Amen. But friend, uh, we never look for the face of God. Amen. Uh, we never looking up to heaven uh, and asking as did Isaiah, oh Lord, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, uh, that thou wouldest come down, uh, that the mountains uh, might flow down uh, at thy presence. Amen. Uh, we're looking for the hand of God, uh, but we don't want to see the face of God. Amen. Uh, we want to see God working in our lives, uh, but we don't want to see God change uh, our routines. Amen. Uh, by doing so, friend, we're limiting God. Amen. Uh, we're saying, God, uh, uh, we want to see you at work, uh, but we don't have time to let you mess up our lives uh, uh, by showing up uh, and showing out and doing for us uh, what we want you to do. Amen. As I began to talk to Brother Lawrence this morning about revival, uh, uh, friend, I believe if revival really came, uh, that it would scare most people. Amen. Uh, I believe it'd scare me if true revival really came. Uh, uh, because, friend, it would, uh, it would demand of you and demand of me uh, that we sacrifice some things, uh, that revival come. Amen. Uh, uh, friend, uh, if you really begin to pray about revival, uh, God's going to start pinpointing some things in your life uh, that's going to have to go. Amen. Huh? That you're going to have to junk and trash. Huh? That God might do the work uh, that he wants to do. Amen. We're going to have to sacrifice if revival truly ever comes. Amen. Friend, Isaiah was crying for that move of God. Uh, he said in Isaiah 64, 1, Oh, Lord, uh, that thou wouldest 
rent the heavens. Amen. I, he was looking for a demonstration of his power. Amen. I, a demonstration of who he was. I, that God would remind the children of Israel I, that all power was given unto him, I, I, both in heaven and in earth. I, and friend, that's exactly what the church needs today. Amen. I, I, they need a reminder I, that God is all powerful. I, that he can do all things. I, we need a reminder I, that he's still the same God yesterday, I, I, today and forever. I, the same God I, I, that moved back then I, can still move today. Amen. I, we need a reminder that God I, can still move I, and still wants to. Amen. I, we desperately I, need a power I, and a moving of the awesome work of God I, in the heart of His people today. Amen. I, just as it was in that day of Moses I, in Exodus chapter 19 I, when the Bible said that God settled there on the Mount of Sinai the Bible said he settled on with thundering uh, and with lightning. Uh, the Bible said that Sinai was altogether on its smoke uh, because the Lord descended upon it uh, in a fire. Amen. A uh, uh, friend, the mountain quake, the Bible said. Uh, uh, the trumpet sounded uh, uh, long and wood and waxed louder and louder uh, and louder. Uh, and friend, that's what we need God to do tonight uh, that he might uh, shake us to our very foundation. Uh, and sin revival in our life. Amen. We need God to come down and prove himself. Uh, friend, because the church does not believe uh, that God can do what he said he'd do. Amen. Uh, we say we want revival. Uh, we say we want God to do a work. Uh, we say we want God to save our children and our grandchildren uh, and to fill this place up. Uh, we say we want God to do many things, uh, but we do not believe that God can do them uh, when we pray. Amen. The uh, Bible said if we believe when we pray that we'd have those things uh, that we desire the Lord. Amen. Uh, that, that don't mean if you pray asking God for a new car he's going to give it to you. Amen. Uh, uh, but that means uh, if you get in line with this book uh, and you get on your knees and begin to pray uh, and ask God to do what he so desires, uh, that God will do exactly uh, what he said uh, that he will do. Amen. Uh, when God came down upon Sinai the Bible said it scared the people. Amen. Uh, it said so much so that they told Moses, uh, speak thou with us uh, and we will hear here, but let not God speak with us uh, unless we die. Amen. It scared them. Uh, it shook them to their very soul. Uh, but Moses said unto the people, Fear not, uh, for God uh, is come to prove you uh, that his fear may be before your faces. Uh, that you sin not. Amen. One reason revival is not comes because we have no fear of God in this day. Amen. Uh, uh, friend, well, in not believing God is a God of great power, uh, we've lost the fear of God. Uh, we've lost our respect for God. Amen. Uh, and in turn, we walk far from God uh, because we do not believe that God will send judgment uh, uh, to His people for their sin. Amen. You better check up and read your Bible again. Amen. Uh, uh, when God's people sin, God sent judgment. Uh, in their land, amen, and in their hearts if they would not repent and turn again to God, amen. And our text, and we'll, we'll look at them quickly, but I believe there's five reasons uh, that uh, we can see why we need revival. In Isaiah chapter number 63, uh, I believe first of all it's because there was no evidence of God's presence. Uh, look at verse 15, he said, look down from heaven and behold from the habitation of thy holiness uh, and of thy glory, where is thy zeal uh, and where is thy strength? Uh, where's the sounding of the, thy bowels and of thy mercies toward me uh, are they restrained uh, it was in Isaiah's day of if the zeal and willingness of God uh, to smile upon his people had been removed amen uh, in Isaiah's day it was as if uh, his strength and his bowels of mercy uh, and of grace had been withholding uh, because of their sin uh, there was no act of God's love toward them amen uh, there was no evidence uh, that he was their God uh, uh, there was no evidence uh, uh, that he had love toward them. Uh, and that was evidence that they were dead. Amen. Uh, there were no miracles taking place. Uh, there was nobody being saved in that day. Amen. Uh, 
And friend, when the child uh, of God uh, and the church of God uh, cannot see people being saved, uh, there's something wrong. Amen. Uh, uh, for that's the very call of God to the church. Amen. Uh, it is to win the lost uh, unto Christ. Uh, there was no salvation. Uh, there was no restoration. Uh, that is, when they sinned, uh, uh, they just kept going. Amen. Uh, there was nobody to bring them back and to pray for them uh, and to restore them. They had all fallen into sin uh, and left uh, the fold of God. Uh, there was no growth in the church. Uh, there was no people that were being added. Uh, no relationship with the Lord. Uh, there was no work of God being done uh, in their presence. Amen. They were simply playing the part and bearing the name uh, because there was no evidence uh, of God's presence. Uh, friend, we must be careful tonight never to lose the presence of God. Amen. Uh, uh, for without it, we're nothing. Uh, we're sounding brass and tinkling cymbal. Uh, uh, we're one that beats the air. Amen. Uh, uh, that waste our breath. Uh, John 15, 5 said, I'm the vine uh, and you're the branches. Uh, uh, he that abideth in me and I in him bringeth forth much fruit. Uh, for without me, uh, ye can do nothing. Uh, uh, with God tonight, we're more than conquerors uh, through him that loved us. Amen. Uh, uh, but without him, uh, we're lost and hopeless uh, and just as dead as the Mormon uh, and the Muslim uh, and the uh, friend and the uh, uh, the Buddhist. Uh, we're no better than any other religion uh, if we do not have uh, the power and the presence of God. Amen. But Israel's prayer, look at it. Uh, they were asking that the Lord would look down from heaven. Amen. Uh, that he would behold their habitation uh, and the holiness of his glory. Uh, in verse number 15, he said in verse uh, 15, the very first part of the verse, look down from heaven uh, and behold uh, thy habitation. Uh, Israel said, Lord, look down uh, and remember us as thou did remember our fathers uh, when you delivered them out of Egypt. Uh, uh, remember us, Lord, uh, and be merciful uh, and so again kindness uh, and grace uh, unto thy habitation. Amen. Uh, David said in Psalm 38 do not forsake me O Lord. Uh, oh my God do not be far from me. Uh, look upon my affliction uh, and my pain and forgive uh, all my sin. Uh, friend you can know that revival's needed. Uh, uh, when you begin to sin uh, and you begin to do things uh, uh, that you know you ought not to do without any remorse uh, and repentance in your hard. Amen. I, I friend, when we get hard and cold against God I, and sin does not bother us anymore, I, we need revival yeah. in our hearts uh, right. and in our lives. Amen. Israel knew that God's presence was not with them. I, he knew I, that the presence of God I, I had departed from them. I, but they prayed that God might bless them anyway. Amen. I, they said in verse 16 I, I, that Dallas for thou art I, our father. Amen. I, they said said, Lord, I know I, that I've done wrong. I, I know I've sinned. I, but because thou art my father, I, would you not rend the heaven? I, because thou art mine, I, I, would you not love me as a father does? I, and give grace and mercy. I, anyway, amen. I, they asked him as his children would. Amen. To give mercy I, and to show compassion as any good father would do. Amen. Over in the book of Matthew chapter number 7. And verses 7 through 8, uh, the Bible said, Ask and it shall be given. Amen. Uh, Seek and ye shall find. Uh, knock and it shall be opened. Uh, for everyone that asketh receiveth, uh, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Uh, or what man is there of you who, if his son asks bread, uh, will he give him a stone? Uh, or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? Uh, if ye then, being evil, uh, know how to give good gifts unto your children. Uh, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven I, give good gifts to them I, that ask Him? Amen. I, hey, friend, though, I, that people of Israel had gone far from God, I, they knew that He still loved them. Amen. I, I, that He was His Father. I, and, friend, because of that, I, He is full of compassion I, unto His people. Amen. I, Lamentations 3, 2. I said it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. I, but because His compassion 
compassions uh, fell not. Amen. Uh, it was the compassions uh, of that father when the uh, a prodigal son came back uh, that caused him to fall on him and kiss him uh, and put a ring on his finger uh, and his robe on his back uh, rather than to punish uh, and to judge him uh, uh, for walking away. Uh, uh, friend, it was compassion uh, that brought him close uh, and showed him the love uh, of the father. Amen. Uh, they knew they needed God's presence. Uh, so they called out to one uh, that could help them. Amen. Uh, uh, the Bible said there in verse 16 uh, that Dallas thou art our father uh, though Abraham be ignorant of us uh, and Israel acknowledges not uh, thou O oh Lord uh, art our father. Uh, Israel did not call to father Abraham to help him. Amen. Uh, he did not call to father Isaac uh, or to father Jacob uh, uh, that they might receive help. Uh, they were dead. Amen. Uh, they could not hear them. Uh, they were ignorant of their cause uh, and of their condition. Uh, they could do nothing to help them. Uh, but they knew one that could. Amen. Uh, and they called unto the God of heaven uh, uh, that he might rend the heaven uh, and send help uh, unto their life. Amen. Uh, Israel knew that God's presence uh, was not near them. Uh, but they knew that David said in Psalm 22 3 uh, that God inhabits uh, the praises of Israel. Uh, and they began to worship him. Huh? Look at what he said in verse 16. Huh? He said, But thou, O Lord, art our Father, huh? our Redeemer, huh? and thy name is huh? from everlasting. Huh? Friend, when you feel that you can't get a prayer through, huh? Huh? you just begin to worship God. Huh? You begin to brag on who He is huh? and what He's done huh? and what He means to you. Huh? And you begin to call His name. Huh? And it won't be long before the tears begin to fall huh? and the heart... Huh? Uh, bells of heaven began to ring uh, within your soul. Amen. Uh, for he does inhabit the praises uh, of his people. Amen. Yes, they had no revival because there was no presence of God. They had no revival because there was. Uh, they had turned away from God. Look in verse 17. He said, O Lord, that thou hast uh, made us to err from thy way and harden our heart uh, from thy fear. Uh, Israel said, Lord, it's your fault that we've sinned. Uh, Lord, it's your fault. Uh, uh, that we've walked away from you. Uh, in other words, they said, why hast thou made us to sin? Uh, by drawing uh, away thy presence from us. Amen. Uh, and causing us to have no fear of thee, uh, nor reverence for thy majesty, uh, nor fear of thy judgment that is to come. Uh, but friend, God did not make them sin. Amen. Uh, God did not cause them to walk away from him. Uh, they chose of their own free will uh, to walk off into the sin uh, of their choosing. Amen. Uh, Thus God called to uh, call, that caused God to remove His presence uh, from them. Amen. Uh, I could, they could have been as Joshua was that day uh, when he began to tell the people of Israel uh, as they crossed over Jordan. Uh, he said, "Choose you uh, that you may choose to serve the God of your fathers." Uh, uh, when they were on the other side of the river, uh, uh, but He said, uh, "If it be evil unto you to serve the Lord, uh, I choose you this day uh, whom you may." Serve serve. I, I, but he said, as for me and my house, I, we will serve the Lord. Amen. I, we must make up our minds tonight. I, come hell or high water, I, that as for you I, and as for me and my house, I, that we will serve I, the Lord. Amen. I, but it was not so in Israel. I, for Jeremiah 6, 16 said, thus saith the Lord, I, stand ye in the way and see. I, as for the old paths, I, where is the good way and walk therein? Uh, and ye shall find rest uh, for your soul. That's a great promise, is it not? Amen. Uh, but the Bible said, they said, we will not walk. Uh, Therein, Amen. They chose of their own free will to walk away from God and to choose the pleasure of sin for season. Amen had no revival. I also say thirdly because uh, uh, there was a remnant uh, that was still faithful. Amen. Look in verse 17. Uh, it, uh, Isaiah said return for thy servant's sake uh, and for the tribes of thine inheritance. Amen. Uh, Isaiah said Lord if nobody else has been faithful uh, I've been faithful. Amen. Uh, uh, for thy servant's sake return uh, uh, for I need a voice and a word from heaven uh, that it might stir my soul. Amen. Uh, even though 
though Israel had gone far from God, uh, God never lacked a voice. Amen. Uh, and I believe until the end of time, uh, until Gabriel blows the trumpet, uh, that God will always have a voice of truth uh, to proclaim the gospel of grace to all those uh, that will receive it. Uh, even in the day of tribulation, the Bible said that God uh, will have a voice of truth. Amen. Uh, in Revelation, uh, it said there'll be two witnesses uh, that'll prophesy for 42 months. Uh, that's three and a half years uh, that if anybody tries to hurt them, uh, that fire will proceed out of their mouth uh, and destroy their enemies. Uh, and friend, uh, uh, the devil's going to try to destroy them. Amen. Uh, uh, for he hates the truth. Uh, uh, but even in the day of the tribulation uh, and the son of perdition, uh, uh, the devil's day, if you will, uh, God will still have a voice of truth uh, to preach the gospel uh, unto those that are lost. Amen. Uh, and friend, is the remnant tonight uh, that is still faithful. Uh, we need revival that we might be encouraged to stay faithful and to continue on. Amen. Ezra chapter number 9 and uh, verse number 8 and 9 says and now for a little space of grace hath been shown unto us uh, uh, from the Lord uh, uh, to leave us a remnant to escape uh, to give us a nail in his holy place that our God may lighten our eyes uh, and give us a little reviving uh, in our bondage amen uh, we need revival tonight for those uh, that are still faithful amen that they might be encouraged to stay faithful and to carry on. Amen. There's been too many already that's quit. Amen. Too many already that's went the wrong direction. Huh? That's laid it down. Huh? Friend, we need God to stir us again huh? that there not be another fall huh? until he comes. Amen. Fourthly, we need revival because the sanctuary has been destroyed. Huh? Look in verse 18. He said, the people of thy holiness huh? have possessed it but a little while huh? and our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuaries. Huh? In ancient times when an army would uh, go into a city and conquer that people, huh? they would destroy the people's temple. Amen. Uh, that was to say uh, that your God is powerless to help you. Uh, your God's powerless to stop uh, what we're doing. Uh, it was to break their will. Amen. Uh, and to strike fear in their heart. Uh, it was to destroy their hope and faith uh, in their God. Amen. Uh, and friend, it worked many times. Amen. Amen. Uh, and uh, uh, Satan today, though he's not literally uh, and physically destroyed our sanctuaries uh, or the buildings that we live in, uh, he has no doubt created counterfeits uh, uh, to confuse and distract uh, the church of God. Amen. Uh, that our worship might be hindered, uh, that our hopes might be destroyed, uh, and that our heart and our will might be broken, uh, that we might live in defeat, uh, that the word Ichabod might be written across the door huh? that he might come and remove the candlestick huh? that the truth of God might not be preached anymore. Amen. Uh, he's not uh, he's come down the Bible said with great wrath. Amen. Because he knows uh, that his days are numbered. Uh, he's come down to steal and to kill uh, and to destroy. Uh, and friend he's a roaring lion tonight uh, and he's seeking whom he may devour. Uh, and friend if you give uh, uh, just a little inch uh, he'll take a mile uh, and he'll destroy your heart and your life. Uh, he can't keep your soul uh, but friend he can sure destroy your life. Uh, for the glory of God. Amen. It had only been about 1,400 years since Israel had claimed the promised land. That wasn't very long. Amen. It was still a new land uh, uh, to the children of Israel. Uh, and yet because they did not obey God uh, and utterly destroy all the people, uh, the enemy had once again come in and destroyed the place of worship, had destroyed the church uh, and the house of God. Amen. We so need revival tonight uh, that our worship might be restored once again in this day. Uh, what's called worship Worship today is not worship. Amen. Uh, it's a cold, dead religion. Uh, it is cold. A uh, uh, friend, all it does is drive people away from God rather than uh, pushing them to God. Amen. Uh, we need revival uh, that we might be restored once again to worship. Uh, that our children and our grandchildren uh, and the generations that are to come might see what a real true revival and a move of God really is. Amen. I don't know about you tonight, but I'm tired of telling stories of uh, what my grandchildren 
granddaddy told. I'm tired of telling stories of what I, I uh, only what I've heard about. Amen. I, I'm ready to tell stories I, to my children, my grandchildren I, of what he did for me. Amen. I, and though I've got great stories to tell already, I, a friend I'd love I, I, to tell my grandchildren I, about a revival that swept across this country I, that changed the heart of men and women I, and caused us once again to turn back unto God. Amen. They need a revival, Ashley, because they were not under the rule of Christ, but under the rule of their own sin. Look in verse 19. He said, We are thine, huh? yet now thou never bearest rule over them. Huh? They were not called huh, by thy name. Huh? Israel said, We are thine. He man, they were his. They were the children of God. They're called huh, uh, children of God. Huh? They were his people. Hey, Amen. Huh? Uh, but they had been living as if they were not his people. Huh? Uh, they said, We are thine. Uh, but have become as those uh, who have never had rule over us, uh, as those that's never even been called uh, by thy name, uh, as if we've never been in the service of the Lord. Uh, Judges chapter 17 verse 6 says, In those days there was no king in Israel, but every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Amen. Israel had been living like there was no king, huh? like there was no authority, no rule, huh? as they had found themselves in desperate huh? and a desperation huh? of a need for revival. Amen. Uh, friend, the church today, no doubt, uh, uh, the church uh, on average is living like they have no rule. Amen. Uh, like this Bible does not exist. Uh, uh, they say live it up. Uh, if you smile and think positive uh, that you'll float on a cloud into heaven. Uh, uh, they're uh, selling lies by the dozen friend. Uh, and men and women are buying into it uh, because it feels good. Uh, uh, they're buying into it because they can live like they want to uh, and dress like they want want to right? and go where they want to right? and still go to heaven right? but friend it does not work that way amen right? the Bible said what is in the heart of man right? proceedeth out of the mouth right? and friend you cannot go to the drug house right? and to the a bar right? and you cannot go to the whorehouse right? and live like the devil and the world right? and still come to church on Sunday right? and go to heaven right? it does not work that way right? but friend the devil I has sold that lot of many a people I, and friend we need revival tonight I, that men and women know I, that there is a difference between the church I, and the people of God I, and the world amen I, they need to know that we're separated I, unto God I, and unto our work I, and the love of God rather I, than living just like they are day in and day out amen our testimony is no better than our lives are amen and friend, if we do not live what we say, uh, live what we preach, uh, uh, if you go and tell someone about Christ, uh, uh, they will not listen because they know what your life says. Uh, they hear your words, but the, that your actions speak louder than the words that you are telling. Amen. Bible said Hosea 10 and verse 12. So to yourself in righteousness. Uh, reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. Uh, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come uh, and rain righteousness uh, upon you. Uh, uh, Zephaniah 2 and 3 said seek ye the Lord all ye meek of the earth uh, which have wrought his judgment. Uh, seek righteousness. Seek meekness. Uh, it may be ye shall be hid in the days uh, of the Lord's anger. Uh, in uh, Isaiah 25 and verse 9 it says and it shall be I said in that day lo this is our God we have waited for him and he will save us this is the Lord we have waited for him we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation Proverbs 28 13 that he that covereth his sins shall not prosper but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy amen the Bible said if we'll turn from our sins that he will abundantly pardon. Amen. I, I'm thankful tonight There is a, a that there is a hope of, of a revival. Amen. I, that there is a hope of restoration. I, that there still is a hope I, that God can move I, and will move if God's people will get right. I, get on their face and pray and ask God once again earnestly to do what he has done time past. Amen. Isaiah said it like this. Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, uh, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down 
at thy presence. Uh, what a great, uh, great sight that would be. Amen. Uh, I know God's not going to come down physically, uh, but man, would it not be a great thing uh, to come in here next Sunday, uh, to come in here next Friday and Saturday, uh, and the people of God be prayed up uh, and looking up uh, and prayed up uh, and ready that God might do something, uh, and friend, it break out, uh, and it get good, and God just keeps on blessing, uh, and keeps on a doing and it just keeps getting better and better and better. Friend, that's what revival's about. Amen. It's not about a man coming and preaching, but it is about God coming and continuing to rest His presence and His Spirit in the heart and life of his people. Amen. Uh, I want revival tonight. I don't know about you uh, but I want God to send revival. Uh, David said it like this search me oh God. Uh, uh, try me. See if there be any wicked way in me. Uh, and he said uh, a friend that he would abundantly pardon to all of those that will come and confess their sins. Amen. I'm going to ask Brother Doug to come close to service however he feels fit. Lord, we thank you for the service tonight. God, for your love, your mercy, for your sweet presence, for liberty. And I thank you, God, for uh, how you speak to us through your word. And God, how it challenges our heart. I, Lord, I thank you for your people of God as they've listened uh, intently. And God, as they, uh, Lord, I examine their hearts, no doubt. I, and I pray, God, you give us a hunger and a zeal and a desire. Right? God, a, a, a true desire that we might I see once again the power and presence of God moving in this day. Uh, Lord, there's people pass by this church. Uh, they'd have to say, I've got to go in and see what's happening. Uh, there's been talk about what God's doing. Uh, and I've just got to go and see. Uh, God, would you grant it in the heart of your people, in the place uh, that you so choose, would you help us, God, tonight? We'll thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Did you know that you could receive a daily devotion every morning in your inbox? Head on over to ibcflorence.com and click on Daily Devotions to sign up today. And as always, thanks for listening.